a land that was once a part of ancient Greece. They called it Enotria, or Land of Wine. Now known as Calabria, the region is located at the southernmost point of the Italian peninsula. This beautifully wild region stretches toward the island of Sicily. Marked by the varying microclimates from the coastal regions of the Ionian and Tyrrhenian seas to the chilly heights of the Silo and Aspromonte mountains. On the hills overlooking the city of Cosenza is the town of Donici, a medieval town, the vineyards of which are where the soul of Spadafora wines are born. Established in 1915 by Ippolito Spadafora, they hold the title of the oldest winery in the province of Cosenza. This very well established and 100% family operated winery stretches across 40 hectares near the Tyrrhenian Sea. The very hot climate here lasts throughout most of the year, giving the vines an ideal microclimate of warm sunny days and cool sea breeze nights. Today, the continuity and evolution of a family history devoted to wine is represented by Ippolito Spadafora, the grandson of the founder. With the help of wine experts, Cantina Spadafora has been able to reassess the native vines to produce the highest of quality wines. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Bigatini, wine lover and big fan of Italian wines and I'm very excited to introduce a couple of wines to our market today from Calabria, kind of an unknown wine region, but unbelievable wines coming out of there. The first wines that are coming that we're going to talk about today is, is from Spadafor. It's called Monomor and it is just pure fun. It's 50-50 Chardonnay and Pinot Grigio done in a frizzante style. So as the fermentation starts, when it gets close to the 11%, they chill that tank right down, stop the fermentation, run it through a filter, throw it in the bottle so you get these nice little fine bubbles. Not a full on sparkling wine like a champagne or a Franciacorta, but half sparkling wine which makes it perfect for the summertime. A bit of a uh, yeastiness to it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh wow. That is like having a glass of sparkling apple juice. It is just crisp and fresh. I don't think you could really go too wrong with this on a hot day. It's just a tasty wine, fantastic with your light fish. If you like more of the red wines, uh, the Mon Amour from Spadafora, it's their rosé. This is 50-50 Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And same thing. They, they stop the fermentation halfway through, well, partially way through. It's a nice little bubbles in there. Lots of berry flavors in this, strawberry and raspberries. A little bit of a current. And the Pinot Noir comes through really well. You got a little bit of a, a wet forest floor character as well. Mm. It's got a really nice structure and it's um, really, really tasty. Hot summer day. I don't think you can really go wrong with these two guys right here. Well, now on to the Spadafora Reds. We've got two exciting wines here from Spadafora. We've got the Solo Nero and the Peperoso. Both of these wines are made with an indigenous grape to Calabria called Malioco. A Malioco, it's also blended with a little bit of Merlot, but it's an indigenous grape. It's, it's, it's not a big, bold grape. And I think because of the, the, the influence of the Mediterranean, we, we keep some good acidity in these wines. They don't taste like they're really hot climate wines to me. Big difference between these two, is Sola Nero spends no time in oak. So if you're not a lover of oaked wines, this could be your new favorite wine right here. This one spends four months in, in oak and it's not a very oaky wine. You can tell the oak is there, but you almost have to search it out. It just gives the wine a little bit more structure. The Peperoso is a uh, same wine, but just a little time in oak. Here we have those same berry flavors coming through really good. A little hint of the oak on the background. I don't know if I would chill this guy up too much, but um, you know, definitely don't serve him at room temperature. You know, these wines are meant to drink in hot weather. It's it's not it's not Calgary out there, so you know we got to have some nice nice wines to go with with warmer weather, and this kind of works for it. So lots of fruit. 
Oh, here we get a nice soft silky tannins. You get a little bit more of that flavor coming from the oak on here, which may, means it'll go really, really good with a flank steak or a skirt steak. Something with some sauce, maybe a little chimichurri on there or something. But really kind of a tasty little experience, these two. It's hard to get the, you know, red wines that are tasty when it's 30 degrees outside. These guys, I think, will do the trick. So let's move on to Colacino. From a passion for the earth, wine, and life, the Colacino family winery guarantees quality and exclusivity of their wines. The company is now managed by the founder's two children, Mauro and Maria Colacino. The location of the vineyards is about 500 meters above sea level on the steep volcanic mountainsides of the Marzi Cosenza Mountains. The environment is unique. The native vines present originality and a distinctive character. The innate nature of these vines grant the wines their distinctive, decisive character. Although there is a hint of minerality in the wines from the volcanic location, the vines are planted in rich, clean soils where the roots can travel down through the mountain and stretch toward the river below. The wines are even a bit spicy, recalling the flavors of ancient Enotria. We've got a couple of exciting red wines from Colacino to talk about. The first one is a Manzio, and this is made with 100% Maliocco, a um, beautiful ruby red color. Oh, and this is, this is, this smells more like it's coming from a warmer climate. A little bit richer, a little bit riper than the Spadafora wines were. A lot more going on in these guys. Some oak in here, that Malioko brings in lots of nice fruit flavors. We've got the strawberry and the raspberry, some red currants, cherry, but there's this nice oak backbone to it, as well as really great structure. This is a phenomenal food wine. The acidity is so refreshing and keeps me wanting to, to go back to drink this guy. Um, I really don't think anyone would have a problem drinking this wine, especially with a little bit of food. So this flagship wine of of Colacino. It's the Brito. This was the very first wine that the owner of this winery created when he started it. A doctor, by the way, who had a love for wine and just followed his passion for wine. But Arvino, Greco Nero, Malioppo, Maliocco, and Nerello are the four grapes that make this. A little thyme and oak that just balances off a little bit, gives it some structure and backbone to this wine. Mmm. Fantastic acidity. This just makes you want to drink this wine. The Italians, they drink wine with food. They don't really sit around drinking wine. It's made for food. Well, I hope you guys learned about Colacino and Spadafora and the amazing wines coming out of Calabria. Kind of new to our market and um, really exciting and look forward to great things in the future. Cheers, Jessica. Cheers.